Hey YouTube, this is Lenovo ThinkPad E15, third generation AMD version, and the backlight is going on it. So, looking at the <coughs> motherboard, it does seem that this element is the backlight fuse right here. And I'm going to be replacing it with this fuse here. It's it's not measured properly, so so the the fuse is open basically, and this is the marking of it F1. So let's replace it and see. Let me clean it up. Looking good, so let's see if it's gonna fix our issue. And it did not fix our issue, and the this fuse is blown as well. As you can see, it's a diet mode, it's not beeping. So, actually, there is an issue with this actually uh, the screen. So, take a look. I'm gonna connect the screen back, like without the screen connected. Let's test it without screen connected. So, red prompt with ground. As you can see, no beeps. And if I put it on ground here, it beeps. This is ground pin. Here, no beeps. Okay. After I connect the screen, take a look. So, there is a short on the actual LCD. So, it is a fuse, but it's being blown by the short somewhere on TCON board of the LCD, of the LCD backlight. So I have to take apart the LCD and see what's going on. We are moving in the right direction. I had not tested because I, you know, I thought it was just blown by the customer. Customer came in and brought it this computer. They were changing something and blew the backlight. So I didn't think it, uh, it actually, uh, that major but we'll see okay so some news here after i took apart the whole lcd because i was trying to figure out what's going on testing the pins even disassembling the cable it turned out that this pin number one as you can see okay and uh, on the motherboard on the motherboard we have this is what we have on the motherboard as you can see this is pin number one one two three four four pins together are connected so th this these pins is one line these four pins one two three four four pins one line on the motherboard and if we take a look at this cable I haven't took it apart. Not took it apart completely, but mm, 
as you can see. Pin one, two, three, four. Pin number four, take a look at pin number four. Pin number four is the ground on this cable. It's a ground. So obviously, if we connect these three pins to the ground, they're all gonna be ground. That's why the uh, that's why the fuse was was getting blown. I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna put my fluke and diode mode and I can show you. So this is ground. Okay. Let me connect this. Okay, ground, okay, ground. Oops. So one, two, three. Come on. Four. Once again. One, two, three, four. Four. Number four, pin number four is ground on this cable. And this whole cable, this whole the whole L C D this that's what it shows here. I had no idea that uh, that it might be tied up to the screen, but I called the customer again, and I did, he didn't tell me anything about the screen being replaced. So I figured that this screen has been replaced, and that caused this uh, no uh, uh, no backlight issue. So I called him and asked him specifically, "Did you have the screen replaced?" He said, "Oh yes, I did have the screen replaced. Where did you get it? From eBay, from for this ThinkPad E." 15 third generation uh, after looking online it turned out to be that there are a couple screens for this model one is like srgb and that one is regular i'm not 100 sure but obviously some screens are not compatible and this is the exact reason so the screen the customer bought for this laptop is not even compatible with that laptop it shows the picture, but the backlight is not there because the the line is uh, being shorted to ground if you connect the screen. So I spent some time on this laptop trying to, to figure it out and all it was is just the customer replaced the screen and it caused no backlight. And he told me originally, oh yeah, here I replaced, you know, the memory. And, you know, and after that it stopped working, but it was not the case, obviously. But we got it figured out, and I mean, I guess the moral of this uh, little video is not all the screens are compatible for the ThinkPad E15 for generation. This particular model is AMD. I have. I'm gonna put a model number of the board, and this is the screen that is not basically for. It's not made for this particular board, okay? RGB cable, because I've seen there there's uh, cables for sale that say uh, EDP, so this is RGB, so maybe that's the difference. But anyway, so if you connect the cable, for uh, for example, if you get the replacement screen, the whole screen assembly for this model, and you connect, you connect it to the, uh, oops, to the laptop and if these pins are shorted to ground after you connect all this one two three four pins are shorted to ground after you connect the screen and they're not shorted if you disconnect it then it means that the screen is not compatible so uh, that's it guys thank you very much for watching and uh, please subscribe hit that thumbs up button and I uh, really appreciate that and have a lovely day. Thank you guys. Bye.